Welcome to another episode of Sunscreen Saturday that might air on Sunday because I'm expecting a couple of packages today. We'll see if they actually get here and if they get here in time for me to shoot something to air on Saturday instead of sunscreen. So here's what we're doing today. Sun Project Sun Water Cream. This is from Thank You Farmer and it is a Korean sunscreen. You can see in the back, there, there's nothing in English here, and there's no ingredients. Not to worry, I've looked it up. This is an unusual one. It was recommended by a YouTuber called Kathamista, and she specializes in Korean skincare. Although, she does other things as well. She doesn't post too often, and she has a different skin type and is a different age than me. But, you know, I like to surf around and see opinions from other people. This is one that she actually didn't like, and sometimes I use people as an opposite. She said it balls and pills, but something else that she loved, I found bald and pilled. So I thought, I'm going to give this a try, and guess what? I do not have a problem with balling or pilling with my skincare or with my makeup, so that's a good thing. What is unusual is I had thought, because this is Korean, they would be using the next generation sunscreen filters, but they're not. This is what they have. I mean, it's a mix, actually, it's a hybrid. Octanoxate, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and juvenal A+. So the juvenal is the new generation. And the other ones are the same thing that are approved by the FDA, and they're not the most stable things in the world. They're not as good as filters as the new generation, but they are here. I personally do not have a problem with chemicals. They don't burn my skin. They don't make me feel dry. I don't find them to be uncomfortable. But, you know, fair warning, there's a lot of them in here. If you have a problem with that, you're probably not going to like this. Now this has antioxidants. It has three, but I can only pronounce one. I'll write the names of the other ones. They are antioxidants, but they're also very soothing and comforting to the skin. One of them is Centella Asiatica, which is a, a lot of Korean sun care, and it's creeping into American skin care as well. I'm finding you guys, for me, talking first thing in the morning, it's as if my tongue is swollen. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get words out. I'm sure my tongue isn't swollen, but it's hard in the morning. Anyway, there's also sunflower seed oil. One of those antioxidants is also an oil. So there's two oils in here. There's sodium hyaluronate and mistletoe leaf extract, which is supposed to be very soothing. There's also alcohol in here, but the alcohol isn't at the very top, although it is in the first half. So there you go. This is what it looks like. And let's put it on the face. This is about a quarter teaspoon. And I find that this leaves a shiny face, but it's not wet. You'll touch it, you know, if you put it on your hand, you touch your hand and you think it's wet, it's not. There's a little bit of fragrance in here. It's easy to apply. And this whiteness fades. And I feel like, it's hard to tell because it leaves a shiny finish, but I feel like there is a pearlized finish to this as well, very, very slightly. And just go on with the rest. I think it's sometimes helpful to put on your sunscreens in two layers so you can get the full quarter teaspoon. And if you're and it leaves a little bit of whiteness, but that will fade. And I also find, probably because of the alcohol in this, it sets up pretty quickly. So it's not uncommon for me to wait a half an hour before I put on my foundation, but with this one, I think you could probably do 10 minutes. So I'll be back in 10 minutes and we'll put on some foundation. All right, it's only been about 10 minutes, but I can feel that it's setting up. I feel it kind of evaporating and it is no longer wet to the touch, but you can see there's quite a bit of shine here and that shine makes it hard to tell if there's actually a radiance, a pearlized radiance but I do think there is a little bit. While I'm waiting for this to finish up, I just want to show you this little trick I've been doing. I got a little teeny one of this. This is MD Solar Sciences, 
they make them in tinted. This one is in white. And I take the smallest bit of this, and this is too much. And I put this underneath my eyes, and I find that it's, even though this is mineral, it's not drying. And it acts both as a sunscreen and, in a way, because there's so much dimethicone, as a primer. So, this is set, and it didn't take very long at all. I'd say six, seven minutes. Going in with the reboot, which is what I usually do with these tests. Do pumps. And while Kothamisa says she has problems with the balling and pilling, I didn't have it when I first put it on, so didn't interact poorly with my skincare, and it doesn't interact poorly with my foundation. And it's a pretty decent price. There's no pulling, you know, there's no friction going on when you're putting it over, when you're putting your foundation on. It just goes on really, really lovely. No, I did get some near, under my eyes, so I'm just kind of going to pat some there. I appear to be pretty well blended. I think it's possible I could have let this dry for a few more minutes. Because I do have so much uh, viscosity. I mean, it's really kind of moving around more than it normally does, I think. But that's it. There's no balling, there's no pilling, there's no issue. I do feel like I do want this to dry a little bit. It was probably still a little bit wet. So I will come back and then we'll powder and see what happens because I definitely <laughs> need some powder. So this is what I do. One, take this out, shake it. Shaking it will break it into a powder. Take off the lid and dip your brush on, just like this. Or you can kind of move them aside and find a nice bit of powder already, like right around the wall. Look how much you get that way. Shake off the excess. And I was thinking that this might be helpful for me. For instance, I rebought this Kosas in number four, which is incredibly yellow. But when I put this powder over it, it doesn't look as yellow. And that's kind of why I like those pink powders because they take away that yellowness so I don't look like my face and my body are disconnected. I'm putting on more powder than I usually do because it's it's beyond radiance. It's more like shiny. And I actually think the skin looks super, super nice. When I turn this way, you can see a lot of shine. You could certainly, you know, powder this area and it can be a little natural highlight. If you like it shiny, you don't need to powder it, but for me it was a little too much. But I think this is a decent price. I think it's very, very moisturizing. So if you have particularly dry skin, even though there's alcohol in this, I feel incredibly moisturized almost too moisturized and it's funny because before I put this on I thought hmm maybe I need another moisturizer because I'm feeling a little dry today not anymore there's something about this maybe it's the two oils I don't know so in conclusion I think it just it works well with my skincare it works well with my foundation it's I find it to be very moisturizing but not moisturizing like a cream Do you know how some people say for instance the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream oh it's so thick or the Lala cream oh it's so thick there's a lot of moisturizers out there that are thick but they don't really feel all that moisturizing this is not that thick but it does feel moisturizing they call it a cream but it's not a cream in the same sense as the Purito where the Purito you saw me put it on my finger and go upside down and it wasn't moving. This moves. When I lifted my hand for you, you noticed that it was sliding down. So it's more like a gel cream. Do they call it a gel cream? Well, they call it water sun cream. 
which really can mean anything, but yeah, kind of a gel cream in its consistency. And yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's one that I really like. And that's this episode of Sunscreen Saturday or Sunday. And let me know what your thoughts are. If you've tried this before, if you like it, I think it's great. And thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart, and I'm wishing you good health.